Hello and welcome today in this video I will show you how to recover deleted files from a hard drive, from an SSD, from a USB stick, from any external drive, etc. Let's go. To do it we need special software. I will use a program called Minitool Data Recovery Software. All links will be in the description. It also has a free version. To download it, click here. Open the file. Here you can choose your language and here you can choose the installation path. Remember, to avoid problems, you need to select any other disk, not the disk you want to recover files from. For example, if you want to recover files from disk C, you need to install the program on disk D or disk E. If you don't do it, you will decrease chances to recover your data. Now press install now. Here you can see the warning I was talking about. Press yes and wait until it ends. As you can see, I have prepared some files. It's a text document, a photo, and a video. Now I will write it to my USB stick. And now, somehow, I accidentally delete them. As you can see, the recycle bin is empty. And my USB stick doesn't have these files too. So how we can recover them now? Open the program. You can now please remember very important information. Do not write any files on the disk you want to recover files from. Because these actions will decrease chances to recover your data. So please don't do it, okay? Great. Okay, let's go ahead. Now you need to select the drive you want to recover files from. In my case, this is USB flash drive F. Press scan and wait until it ends. Time depends on device capacity. The program found some files. As you can see, found files are divided into categories. In most cases, the file names will be lost. That's why we have these categories. We have Office 2007 Word document, MP4 video files, and JPEG files. You may have other file formats. It all depends on what you want to recover. So. I had on my USB flash drive an office document, a video file, and a photo. That's why I select office document, mp4 video file, mp4 is a video format, and jpeg file. jpeg is a photo format. Then you need to press save. As you can see it says, it's recommended to save the recovered files on another drive, otherwise the last deleted data could be overwritten. For example, if you want to recover your files from disk, C. You need to select any other disk. It can be disk D, disk E, or another disk. In my case, I want to recover my files from disk F, so I will select disk E. Or it can be disk D or disk C. Let it be disk E. Then press OK and wait until the files were recovered. OK, as you can see, my files were recovered successfully. Then you can just press here, View Recovered. And here it is. Let's open my deleted photo. As you can see, it recovered successfully. What about my deleted video? As you can see, it was recovered successfully too. And what about my office document? And, as you may notice, the information in the file was not corrupted. As I told you before, the file names will be lost. That's why the program uses categories. Yes, searching for the file will take more time. But the main goal is to recover your important data, right? Once again, if you want to recover only Office documents, you need to select Office document. If you want to recover only video files, you need to select video file. If you want to recover only photos, you need to select JPEG files. Also, you can use a filter. To save your export scan results, you need to press here. To load your scan results, you need to press here. Also, you can recover your files from your desktop, your recycle bin, or you can select a folder. Also, you can check the manual in text form. All links will be in the description. I really hope you succeeded recovering your data. If this video helped you, press the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.